back to further solutions academy further solutions academy uh anywhere you see our video help us to share and subscribe if you have not subscribed before just press on your subscribe button at this point we have a lot of videos for you over 300 videos available it means you can come here and learn any topic of your choice under mathematics physics and uh, chemistry okay uh just in case you can comment if you need our assistant you can comment below or you need a video from us or you need our online class or you make use of this line now with this time you can do three things with this you can call us you can whatsapp us and also telegram is allowed either of the three that is all uh, that is that on this part i'll be on this video i'll be working you on fraction you know fraction you all know what is called fraction one out of all one out of all now one out of all that is fraction anyway that is what is called fraction now one out of all now for instance if i have um normally if this is the form of fraction fraction r a of the form a all over b that is fraction for you now anytime you can have anything like this you have it in form of a all over b take note of this note 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 that my b must not be equal to zero my b must not be equal to zero once that b becomes a zero that's that is another thing you have to go and check on that in our video on limit of a function. Now, the story have changed if the denominator equals to what is zero. Now, but it must be zero, it must not be equals to what is zero. It means it can be any other value minus one, minus ten, ten, two. Do you get me right? And for your information, if I have a number like this, I can as well write it as a all over one is in fraction form. Is it, it means one out of now application part of uh, fraction is when you pick like a paper this is a paper is a square now at this point if i divide this square into two become a square when i have this sorry now if i divide this square into two equal parts now it means this one the whole paper is one itself now this one will not be one out of two one out of two now if for instance, I cut that paper into three. Now, I have this, I cut it into three, I mean into four rather. Now, it means one out of four. One out of four. One out of four. Now, can you see how that is how our fraction comes to play? That is how it is. Now, that is what is called fraction. Now, one out of all. And take note that your B denominator must not be what equals to uh, is zero. That is very very important. Now and also before I continue, let me quickly take, explain type of fraction. In my next video, I'll be working on um, uh, word problem parts. You know, it will be very good for you to check on those things. Now, let me tell you, we have pra type of fraction. We have um, let me put it down. Type types of fraction now we have first one we have proper we have improper and we have means we have miss fraction miss miss fraction now the first one is when you talk about proper proper fraction it means what is big is all what is i mean what is small is all what is uh, uh big is down which is i can have uh, something like two all over three i can have something like five all over eleven this is proper fraction now you can see that the number here is bigger than what what is up means fraction is just like an improper fraction is a way how like three all over two and uh, 11 all over 5. Can you see this is a mixed fraction? I mean, improper fraction. My mixed fraction is being generated from what? Improper fraction. Now, how many times it will be one time, one whole number, uh, 
1 all over 2. Now, that should become a what? Means fraction. How many times 2 all number 1 all over 5? Now, this is a means, this is a what? Proper fraction, this is improper fraction, and this is a means fraction. Please take note of all this very, very well. Okay. Okay, and also, we need to uh, ascending and descending order. Okay, I will work on that. Maybe towards the end of the video, I'll try to work on that. Now, operation on fraction. When we talk about operation on fraction, now we know that our normal operation in mathematics, we have plus, we, this is operation plus, we have operation plus, positive, negative, multiplication and division. <coughs> now, I think this is a very common operation. Now, we have what is called assignment. When you assign something to something, now, for instance, A equals to B, it means A is assigned to what? Now, A equals to B, that equals to, that also to is an um, operation also on itself, on itself. but, um, you know, and also I can have A not equals to B. Now, this also carries a lot of condition. Make sure this one carry inequality. This one carry equality. Please take note of this very, very well. And um, also, let me try to play around with uh, two or three operations. Two or three operations. For instance, um, I have simplified. This can be a YX objective question. Uh, simplify 10 whole number to all over 5 minus 6 whole number to all over 3 plus 3. Now, if I'm to operate on this thing, I want to work on this thing. Now, I have operation plus, I have operation minus. Very, very important. And uh, at this point, you must understand what is called board mass. Board mass. Now, please, this is very important, very, very important at the point of what? Simplifying any given fraction. Bracket of division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. That is board mass. Now, when I have something like this, I can have something on 2 minus 6, 2 all over 3 plus 3. Now, this is mixed fraction. This is mixed fraction. This is now this multiplied by how do I take mixed fraction to improper fraction? 2 all over 3. Now I will multiply this by this. This multiplied by this plus this. Which is going to be what? 50, 52. It means 52 all over 5. The same thing as this. It means 52 all over 5 minus the same thing. 18 plus the that will be 20 all over what? 3 plus 3. Now that is very, very important. I will now find the LCM. My LCM of this number will be 15. How do I find estimate SCM? You can multiply the two together. If both of them are, uh, uh, um, let me use the word prime number. If they are prime number, you know, you multiply the two together, if possible. I mean, that is the best way to go. But if they are not, if something can divide, like you are having something like one all over four plus one all over three, the, I mean one over eight, the SCM can be eight because four goes in eight and eight goes in eight. That is what what we are trying to achieve. When it comes to LCM, now at this point I will be having having fifteen. It means I will be having fifteen as my LCM. This in this, it will be what three? Three multiplied by this, it will be one fifty six minus this in this, it will be five. Five multiplied by this, it will be one hundred plus this in fifteen. Fifteen times three, it will be forty five. I will have it as 45. Now, that is what I'm trying to work on. This is going to be 45, for, okay? It will be 101. Yes. 101. Yes. It will be 56. Yes, 56. It means I'll be having 101 divided by 15. That is that is 15. Okay. All over 101. It means I can take the mixed fraction, which I'll be having... Um, this whole number, this whole number, 11 all over 15. That is what we are talking about. Okay, let me try to show one or two examples, more examples on this part. Now, another one, I have a something like this. Simplify 
1 all over 1 all over 2 plus 2 whole number 1 all over 3 multiplied by 3 all over 4 minus 1 all over 2. Now, to, all, to solve this the same way I don't need to. Now, I think to what? To miss fraction to what? Proper fraction. To improper fraction. To improper fraction. Now, to improper fraction, it means I'll be having uh, 3 all over 2 plus 7 all over 3 multiplied by 3 all over 4 minus 1 all over 2. Now, both mass is very important. Both mass is very important, which this one is first. Multiplication is first. Bracket or division multiplication. Multiplication is just like uh, this. We cancel this. And uh, it means 3 all over 2 plus 7 all over 4 minus 1 all over 2. Now, since I have that, I will now form my LCM. Can you see that it's what? Equals to 4. Because 4 goes in 4, 4 goes in 2, and also goes in this 2. I have 4 like this. This in 2, that will be 2. We have 6 plus 7 minus, <coughs> minus 2. Now, which I will be having 11 all over 4. Which is the same thing as what? 2 all number, 3 all over 4. Now, all these are very, very simple and very cheap. That's what I want to work on as far as this video is concerned. Okay, now before I hand this part, before we go to the word problem part, um, okay, I have this problem also. <clears throat> now I have this simplify three whole number one all over three multiplied by one whole number one all over eight divided by three whole number two all over three. Minus 2 over 1 all over 4 divided by 5 divided by uh, 3, 7 all over 9. Now, this is another problem that can give you problem. They can give you as an exam, in any given exam, which is very, very good one. Now, we have multiplication, we have division, we have normal division, and we have normal sign division. Now, take note of this, both mass is very, very important. If I were you, I can also, um, the first thing I can do, I think I can say that 11 all over 3 multiplied by 8, 9 all over 8 divided by, we have 9, we have um, 11 all over 3 also minus uh, that will be 8, 9 all over 4. Now, divided by, this also would be uh, divided by, this would be 10, 11, all over 2, divided by what? Okay. That would be uh, 9, 24. That would be uh, 34. Yes. Yes, so, yes, 34 all over 9. Now, what I'm here now is that board mass is also very good. Bracket of division. Very important to understand what is called by bracket. Okay, I can say that 3 year 1, 3 year 3. Now, which I will be having 33 all over 8 divided by this also. Now, the problem here, you can't deal with this one because this is what? Minus, which is board mass. Subtraction is the last part of it. Which I'll be having, I'll find the house term which is going to be 12, which is going to be uh, 44 minus 27. Now, divided by this will now be 11 to multiply by 9 all over 34. Now, yes, by so doing this, I can now say that um, which I'll be having, uh, what next? I can change the division to the multiplication. Can I change it? Yes. Let me change this division to multiplication, which I will be having 3, 3 all over 8. Divide that, okay, multiply by, now it will be 12, all divided by, all divided by 17. Yes, I will be having 17. I'm just changing this part now. Okay, divided by, 
This will be is there anything I can go? No. Nothing, 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 nothing. Okay, I can say that um, uh, okay. Anything, anything goes okay. I will still have it divided by multiply by 934. Now, at this point, also follow your bond man. Division is first. This is what I'm going to do for you. It means that 3 all over 8 multiplied by 12 all over 17 multiplied by 2 all over 11 multiplied by 9 all over 34. Now, by so doing this, things have done something very good. There won't be any problem. There should not be any problem. I can start cutting. Can I cut? Yes. Yes. Year 1, year 4. Okay. 4 year 1, 4 year is what? Is um is three. What is what is eleven year one year three. What is what is thirty four and nine. Then anything relating them? Yes, thirty four divided by this, which will be uh okay three in okay year year year. Now everything will be equal to two. That is. That is what we are trying to do. That is all. Now, before I hear this part, let me quickly try to explain what is called uh, arrangement of fraction, which is ascending and descending order. That is common. That is very, very common. Very, very common to any exam. Now, which is called ascending and descending order. Now, for instance, somebody asked you to uh, arrangement arranging arrangements or arrange the following numbers in ascending order we have one all over eight comma one all over seven comma one all over four comma eleven all over fifty six comma 17 all over 56. Now, I want to arrange this. I don't know it, and now I don't need to arrange it. How do I go? The first thing I will do is that uh, I will look for the word multiply or the LCM of this fraction, which is going to be what 56. That is all. Once I can get the LCM, others are what? Now, since my LCM is 56, I would not say that multiply all true or all by the LCM. Multiply true by the LCM. 1 all over 8 multiplied by 56, comma. 1 all over 7 multiplied by 56, comma. 1 all over 4 multiplied by 56, comma. 11 all over 56 multiplied by 56, comma, and 17 multiplied by, uh, 17 all over 54, 6 multiplied by 56. Now, you can notice, you will notice that this will cancel this, this will cancel this. Now, what else I need to work on? And um, here will be 7, here will be, will be 8. Here and 54 will be, um, will be 14. Yes, is it 14? Yeah, it will be 14. Now, can you see that all what I need is what? I have 7, 8, 4, yes, 14, 11, and 17. Yes. Now, with this, I cannot know the smallest, the biggest. Now it means the arrangement we follow the what now the arrangement now the arrangement arrangement will be now we have seven seven being produced by what seven is the lowest which is we are talking about ascending order seven is the lowest seven is being produced by what one all over eight one all over eight is the lowest comma what next we have fourteen we have four I mean we have eight 8 is being produced by what? This is 8, which is the what? I have 1 all over 7, comma. What next? I have 11. 11 is being produced by what? Uh, 11 
all over 56 comma what next i have i have 14 14 is being produced by what one all over four comma which is 14. the next one will be what 17. i mean i have 17 which 17 is being produced by what 17 all over 56 that is all now it means is now in ascending order that is all that is what i want to i need to do i'll be stopping here for now don't forget if you are to arrange this is very common in any exam by any exam any international exam now what i need to understand now is that um, if you are to descend Descent can the question can function in form of descending order. If it is descending order, it means you turn it upside down. This one will be first, second, third. I mean, first, second, third, and so on and so forth. That is descending. Ascending is increasing. Descending is what coming down. I'll be stopping here. Don't forget you are home with further solutions academy. I encourage us more to share and also subscribe if you have not subscribed before once again kindly subscribe please very important once again thanks for watching